Hello Earthlings, it's Neutron back with another album review. Today we are examining the new Paul McCartney album, Egypt Station. Uh, the man needs no introduction, so let's just get straight to the music. Uh, the album, however, does have an introduction, opening station, which leads right into the first proper song and lead single, I Don't Know. This is a slow piano-based ballad. Uh, I'm really loving the chords. It doesn't sound like anything uh, the Beatles ever did. I don't know much Wings, so I can't say much about them, but it's got McCartney written all over it in the best way possible. I love how his voice um, doesn't come in for like the first 40 seconds. It's sort of his way of bucking the pop culture trend even though he's a legend in pop music himself. Track 3, Come On To Me, is really Beatles-y sounding. If it had been written a few decades earlier, it could have perfectly fit in on one of their albums. Sounds like a cross between like She Loves You and Obla Di Obla Da and probably something else I'm forgetting about. Track 4, Happy With You, is the first folky acoustic guitar number on the album. Uh, it's again very beatles -y. It slightly reminds me of Blackbird with the way that um, some of the notes are just like drones and that they don't change while the others move around them to create the chords. Who Cares sounds a little Fleetwood Mac-ish, like Lindsey Buckingham era Fleetwood Mac. Sort of think about me dreams kind of stuff. Either way, it's super rock and roll. Track six, For You, is the only co-write on the album, co-written with One Republic's Ryan Tedder. It sounds a lot more Ryan Tedder than Paul McCartney here, at least to me. Especially the vocal samples in the background. Although the spelling, For You, uh, is a reference to an old novelty song called The King of Fa. Confidant is another acoustic guitar folk type song uh, in uh, what sounds like an alternate tuning. It's actually kind of reminiscent of George Harrison. People Want Peace uh, has some of Paul's signature cling 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 piano playing and the lyrics of it pretty much explain themselves. In fact they literally explain themselves. Hand in Hand, another one of my favorite songs on the album, along with I Don't Know, a piano ballad in mixed meters, and Paul sounds really young on this one. Not quite Beatles young, but certainly Wings young. The lyrics are deceptively simple here, like on Yesterday, just because they flow so naturally when he sings them. Dominoes is another classic sort of Beatles-y song where, again, Paul sounds... Uh, really young here. It sounds Beatles-y despite the very un-Ringo, heavy, modern drum sound. Back in Brazil is definitely somewhat Latin sounding, not exactly a bossa nova, maybe like post-bossa Brazilian pop. People who think less of Paul might call it a silly love song, but it might also be based on an incident where he played Fortaleza and in the middle of the concert, uh, he let a fan propose to his girlfriend. That probably inspired some of the lyrics here. Do It Now is a nice piano ballad in waltz time with some harpsichord. The lyrics are easily inferable from the title. Caesar Rock is a uh, corruption of the repeated line in the chorus, she's a rock. Paul said it was just him and his engineer having fun in the studio creating an oddball track. This one definitely is a silly love song, emphasis on silly. Now we come to my favorite song on the album, however, I'm aware that my opinion doesn't really carry any weight when talking about Paul McCartney, but my favorite song on this album is Despite Repeated Warnings. It starts off as a piano ballad, it's taken through several phases, and Paul makes little effort here to hide who the song is about. I mean, it, it's not just about that person who he calls the captain, but it's about climate change in general. But I think it's pretty obvious who the captain is a metaphor for when he says, what can we do to stop this foolish plan going through? And later on, how do we stop him, lock him up? It might just be the most epic song he's written since Band on the Run. That's coming from someone who knows very little of McCartney's solo career, or Wings for that matter. It's definitely a highlight of the album. Uh, and then Station 2 is another interlude, which leads into the opening guitar riff of the first part of the last track, Hunt You Down. It's a little riff-based rocker thing which leads into Naked, a 6-8 number about how he's naked since he was born. This is uh, one of 
This is another one of Paul's signature nonsense lyrics. Uh, and the album ends with the third part of the track, C-Link, a uh, nice blues guitar based instrumental. I'm not sure who's playing guitar on the track. If you know, leave it in the comments. Uh, I looked up this album on All Music, and Paul is the only one who's credited with anything more specific than instrumentation, so any enlightenment would be greatly appreciated. Again, leave it in the comments. So all in all, I like this album. Again, I know my opinion doesn't carry much weight, because this is Paul McCartney we're talking about, and uh, I don't know much solo McCartney stuff, I just know the Beatles and the Odd Wings song and this album. So if you have any suggestions of what non-Beatles Paul McCartney stuff I should listen to next, again, leave it in the comments. If you disagree or agree with my opinions on this album, also leave them in the comments and subscribe and hit the bell. I'm not back to uploading videos regularly yet, but I still upload them. I am going to review 21 Pilots and Greta Van Fleet's upcoming albums on the Tuesdays after they come out, and I hope to also upload something between now and then, but I don't know what, so subscribe so you don't miss it. I've also put my other social media in the description, but until next time, go forth and be like Paul McCartney.